Everlice85 and Jesse asked me in my last video about my favorite product sourcing platforms, which tools or which ways can you use to automate the order process on other pr platforms um, besides AliExpress? Because for AliExpress, you can obviously use Oberlo, for example. But if you use, for example, Alibaba or DHgate, um, there is no real tool. For, uh, well, I, I think for Alibaba, there is one. I think it's called Importify or something like that. But for DHgate, for example, I don't know a tool that automates this process yet. And in this video, I want to show you a tool that can, or, or a built-in Shopify function that you can use to get all this um, product automation going. First of all, one thing up front, I only recommend to do pure automation as soon as you get regular orders. So don't think about automation right in the beginning when you just opened your store and you don't have any order anyway, because in the beginning, it's no problem to just do some orders manually. I remember when I started for several months, I made everything manually, even though I had like multiple and multiple orders a day. But still, um, I think that it's good to keep track of everything in the beginning. And then when it really becomes too much, you can think about how to automate everything and how to make everything faster. But don't, you know, think about this too early and think, oh, how can I automate this? And how can I automate that? And this is too slow and this is too slow because, well, it's no problem if you need like a few minutes more a day. It's not that you have a thousand things that you have to do in your, with your store when it's just in the beginning. So keep this in mind. And now I show you how you can automate any order inside of Shopify, um, no matter which supplier you are using. And first of all, we go to the settings. Right here, you can see my test store with without any real products, of course. We go to settings and then shipping. And down here we can see dropshipping and fulfillment and connect dropshipping and fulfillment services and now we add a dropshipping service and you can see these established uh, companies like shipwire rakuten and fulfillment by amazon i'm using this as well for uh, for our stores and we also sell on amazon but for this course we go down to custom order fulfillment and add a custom fulfillment service and now if you have a supplier and you have this email address, which you should have anyway as soon as possible, but especially if you do regular business with him, just ask him about the, the, the email address. Now you can add something like my awesome supplier and then info at supplier.com and add the fulfillment service. And what this does now is you have this supplier with its email saved in your custom order fulfillment section. And if you go to products, I just, okay. Thought I had one prepared. My awesome product. And down here in the shipping section, you can choose a fulfillment service. And this is normally to manual because you do it yourself. But if you check my awesome supplier, um, Shopify will automatically send the order information. So the customer name, the address, the product, the quantity to your, um, to your supplier. So in this case, my awesome supplier. And he gets this email with normal also the order number and everything that he needs to know, he can send it out immediately and you don't have to worry about all kind of APIs or something like this because it's a very simple, effective way to do fulfillment. Now here it says that you must use the same SK SKU as then your fulfillment center uses. Uh, this is stock keeping unit. So if your supplier has like a lot of products and if you send this email, he cannot 100% uh, clearly match your product with his product, ask him about an SKU, stock keeping unit up front. So he will tell you my, our SKU, SKU is 13209 blah, blah, blah. And you put it in here. And if he get, then gets the order, he will, he will see this is the product, this is the quantity, this is the customer, and this is the SKU. So with this stock keeping unit, he knows perfectly and 100% precisely which product was bought. Um, so you don't really need this if your supplier only sells like a handful of products or if the if the product that he sells is very 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 clear uh, or is very very similar to the to the way you present it in your store but of course it makes sense to always use one so that there are no um yeah so that there is no confusion in anything and yeah that's basically it so if a customer buys this product now he, shopify will send an email to um my awesome supplier and he will know, okay, this guy bought this amount of product X and I have to ship it out now. Now, of course, this is not a 100% uh, automated and elegant solution such as Oberlo with AliExpress. 
but it saves you a lot of time if you get really daily um, daily orders and I recommend to leave the platforms any day at some point in time so if you're selling like 10 20 30 products a day I think it's not that useful to go to AliExpress and make everything through AliExpress you know use your credit card all the time and you hear so often that people get blocked on AliExpress or that their credit card gets blocked on AliExpress there are a lot of things that happen so at some point in time when you really have like a relationship with your supplier I recommend that you do business outside of these platforms if you trust him of course and then you can arrange these things um, one by one so you don't have to stick to the AliExpress rules and and schemes all the time if you trust the supplier and he you made good business with him try to to make it by yourself so that you're a little more free and a little more um, independent from all these regulations they can be a good thing of course in the beginning so always stick to these platforms in the beginning because you're more safe but at some point you should really try to make it like the way it's best for you and the only thing that's not 100 percent automated with this solution here is of course the payments so there is no way to at least no way I know um, to link uh, an automated payment to this um, to this fulfillment. So right now, if you let's say make ten order make ten sales a day and you use this my awesome supplier thing, then you would have to pay these orders one by one. But of course, you can also talk with your supplier if you made business before and say, hey, you know what? I have this plugin now, and every time I sell a product, you will get an email. Is it okay for you if I pay the products like once a day or once a week so that it's a little more easy and a little more time um, uh, time saving for me to do this and if you really did business with him before and this is why I said don't do this kind of uh, automation immediately he might say okay you bought 500 products from me before I have no problem um, doing this just pay me once a week through PayPal or bank, de bank deposit or anything and um, yeah I will just send it out every day and this is no problem so yeah this is basically everything you need to know about the Shopify custom order fulfillment it's very powerful because you can use it no matter which platform you're using as long as you get the supplier's email and it's not like I said a hundred percent elegant and precise solution because yeah basically mainly because of the um, of the payment but I think the fact that you can use it for any supplier uh, is really good and of course there's no 100% perfect solution for everything since there is no tool for any single platform out there this is still a very good thing and I used it several times and it always worked perfectly just make sure that you make a custom like payment deal with your supplier and it shouldn't be a problem if you did business before which is the requirement for this in my opinion anyway so I hope this was helpful for you and I hope that you um, that your question was answered if it's still something unclear just let me know and um, yeah, then see you in the next video and I hope you can implement this technique.